So we missed it so much that I had to bring him back. And here he is at his own booth at the Big Wild Comic Fest. Mark Arnold, who used to do the stories behind the stories. Hi, Mark. How are you? Oh, pretty good. We missed you. Well, thank you. <laughs> we, we missed all the stories behind the stories. But you have your own stories here. So tell us what's new and everything. I, I've been, uh, I had to give it up is because I was writing this book, uh, Frozen in Ice. And it's a story of Walt Disney Productions from 1966. To 1985, and it's about 600 pages, so it took a lot of my time. And well, you got to tell them what exactly what it's about, because you got everybody's attention when you said Frozen. It's kind of a big movie. Yes, it's like it's about Frozen, <laughs> but um, it strangely enough, I didn't intend to call it Frozen in Ice initially. It was going to be called What Would Walt Do, which is essentially what the book is about. Um, it was after Walt Disney died, a lot of ideas they did, uh, or decided to do um, they actually did it for years after he died even things like Space Mountain Epcot um, Beauty and the Beast you know a lot of things that came out 10 or 15 years after he died um, originally Walt Disney thought of and uh, but a lot of people think that uh, Walt Disney was chirogenically frozen and they also think the company after Walt Disney and before Michael Eisner it was kind of at a standstill they weren't being very innovative or anything like that so that's where I came up with the punny type title, Frozen and Ice. And then, strangely enough, they happened to do a film called Frozen, you know, so it helps me. <laughs> now, now, this period actually is a period that really hasn't been covered by anybody before. So where, where did you go to for, for all the research? Where, where, who did you talk to? Um, I talked to a few different celebrities who were in the movies at that time. I talked to Dick Van Patten. I talked to John Provost. Um, just getting their opinions about, you know, what it was like. There's a couple books that... Uh, have been published in recent times that have had interviews with people that worked on those movies and in the bibliography I, I quote all my sources and so through that and also my own recollections of growing up during that period I was able to construct a book. Where is it available in stores online? Uh, mainly online uh, it's here at the convention at Big Wow but uh, or in any future convention if I should uh, so do it but uh, also Amazon and uh, you can order it directly through me as well. The website? Uh, <laughs> it is www.funideas. Excuse me, www.funideas.50webs. That's five zero webs. Uh, dot com. We'll put it in the description, so be for you guys. Uh, anything else that you have going on? Well, the other book that I started writing, actually, there's two. Um, one I just finished writing, probably won't be out till next year, is uh, it's called Think Pink, and it's the history of DePatty Freeling. And that was a company that made the Pink Panther cartoons and a lot of other TV shows. And they did the Dr. Seuss specials, they did, um, and then in later years they did a lot of stuff and became Marvel Productions, so they did Fantastic Four, Spider Woman, Spider Man, and his amazing friends. And. The next project is the Harvey Comics com Companion, and it's a book just literally that, talking about the history of Harvey Comics and for the casual fan, you know, the history of the company. Uh, you said you're working on them now, but you expect one next year, the other one? The other one next year at the earliest, because I just started writing it, the DePatty Freeling definitely next year, because it's just a matter now of editing it down, getting the images, and getting it published, so, which takes and if you haven't gotten the older ones, I think the, the, you have some of them here. Tell them about those two and where they can. Uh, I'm assuming that on your website they can get those two? Yeah. Uh, the first one here is the best of the Harveyville Fun Times. And that's a collection by Fanzine uh, about Harvey Comics. That, and this book came out in 2006. The next book over is created and produced by Total Television Productions. And it's the company that did Underdog and Tennessee Tuxedo, King Leonardo and a number of other cartoons from the 60s. And then a two-volume set called If You're Cracked, You're Happy, which is about Crack Magazine, which is like the competitor to MAD for a number of years, and now is a website called crack.com. Then I did my own vanity project, Mark Arnold Picks on the Beatles, where I just do my own critical review of every Beatles song, group and solo, that they've ever done. And then, of course, Frozen and Ice, which just recently came out. Yeah, so again, all of those available on your website, and uh, some stores Amazon some stores uh, through Diamond Distribution things like that one of our shops Lee's Comics I've seen the crack book there so yeah. you can find it there also yeah I think you can find any of the books there at Lee's Comics so yeah. and Lee's a good friend of mine so he'll always stock any of my books yeah so so 
you know, again, like, like I said, you, we have missed you. I wasn't kidding around. We have missed you being being on there. And this is why you guys, if you guys missed stories behind the stories, you can get it right here in, in, in the pages. <laughs> and why he knows this stuff. And just another thing, you know, I also write occasionally for Alter Ego and Back Issue and Hogan's Alley and uh, Scary Monsters, Monster Memories. And so I have articles in these various issues, which is why I'm selling those here, too. So, yeah, and you know what? I was I was just thinking. Speaking of stories behind the stories, do you still have them up on on your website? I do. Yeah. So, so if you missed its its original run on on the Geek Speak show, you can hear them right there. And you never know. I might do it, it again. You know, it's just right now. You heard it right here first. <laughs> He's coming back. <laughs> Boy, I didn't say that. <laughs> no, no, but we, we miss you. And you you welcome back anytime if you if you do want to come back and do it again. Cool. So thanks, Mark. And, All right. You know, best of luck with everything. All right. Thank you very much.